Hey, hey, what's up, my friend? So in today's video, I want to share with you how I made $259,828. Man, that is a mouthful, right? In trading profits to prove to you that it's not luck. And unlike other trading educators who don't back up what they claim, or they share with you their trading profits on, you know, a handphone, screenshot, and stuff like that, I will show you my own live trading account statements over the last three years. So you know that, you know, I'm not making things up. So over here, you can see over here, over here is in a, for the year 2020, unrealized profits, or rather the realized profits is here, Unlike unrealized profits is here, so you can see it for yourself, yeah? Then for 2021, realized profits is here, unrealized profits is here. And 2022, realized profits is here, unrealized profits is here, so you can know, do the math, okay? So what is this trading strategy that I use to generate six figures of profit? Trend following. Okay, so now when it comes to trend following, many traders think that it's all about trading in the direction of the trend. No, trade with the trend. But here's the thing, that's only a tiny part of it. There's more to trend following than just trading with the trend. So it's no surprise why most traders fail, right, even though they're trading with the trend. So this is why in today's training, I'll share with you the secrets of trend following. What is it, how it works, and more importantly, why it works. Then I'll walk you through a complete trend following system. So this way, you know the exact trading rules, the entries, the exits, right? Which will allow you to profit in bull and bear markets, even during a recession. And by the way, the system that I'm going to share with you, right, it's not just based on theory. I'll backtest it, so I'll share with you the results so you are more confident, right, of this trading system. So whatever I'm sharing with you, I try to back it up with as much evidence and proof as possible. Sounds good? Then let's get started. So what is trend following. So trend following is a trading strategy, a system, a methodology if you want to call it, that allows you to profit in bull markets, bear markets, and even during a recession. But how? You might be wondering, how? <laughs> the reason is simple, right? Because we traders, we are humans, we have emotions. Same like the markets, because the markets is made up of humans, participants. You don't see cow, chicken, and dog you know, trading the markets. I mean, even if they do, they still have emotions as well. So we are driven by emotions. The market is driven by emotions. And the two biggest emotions out there are fear and greed. Right? Fear and greed. So when the market is, there's a lot of fear in the market, what happens? The market will be in a downtrend. And as a trend follower, you can profit from a downtrend. Likewise, when the market is feeling, you know, optimistic, there's a lot of greed in the market. A trend follower can profit and ride the trend up higher. But let's be honest, this trading approach is not the holy grail. You have winners and losers along the way. And when the market is choppy, it's in a range, this is where a trend followers, trend follower go into a drawdown and they, they lose money. But the key here is this, right? Is that as a trend follower, you don't need to have a high winning rate. You can have a winning rate of 40%, right? And you can still be profitable in the long run. That's because the average size of your winners is much bigger than your losers. Let me give you an example. Imagine you have a trend following system that wins 40% of the time. And let's say your average loss is 100 bucks and your average gain is $200. In the long run, right, will you make or lose money? So a hypothetical scenario, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six losers in a row and a winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? So six losers followed by four winners. So your total amount of losses over here is $600. Agree? Because each loss average is 600 bucks, multiply by six losing trades, you get a total of $600, right? Total loss. What about your winners? So average gain is 200 bucks. Total winners will be $800. So $800, you minus $600, you still come up ahead of $200. And that's the secret, right? That's the reason why trend followers can still be profitable despite having a low winning rate. Does that make sense? Smash the thumbs up button if it does. Now, look at this table over here. This table here is actually the uh, results, right, of a trend following system that I use to trade the market. So this is a system that uh, I've backtested. I trade it live in the markets as well. And you can see this is the result of it. So you can notice a few things. Number one, in the year 2000, this system is up 29.4%. In 2008, it's up about 82.4%. And 2022, right, up 42.7%. Now, what is the common recurring pattern that you realize over here? Think about this, five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the answer is this, is that during this period, it's actually a period of fear, crisis, recession, right? 2000, you have the dot-com bubble. 2008, you have the mortgage back crisis. And 2022, you have the Russia-Ukraine war crisis. So you can see that during such 
fearful market environment. Trend followers, they thrive right during this type of market environment. And now you might be wondering, why? Why does a trend follower do so well during such crisis period? And the reason is simple, right? It's because again, namely of fear and greed in the market. We human traders, we have this hurt mentality. What do I mean by hurt mentality? So we like to follow the crowd. So imagine you're in a cinema watching a movie, right? Maybe it's Avengers Endgame. And then there's a fire in the cinema. The fire is getting bigger, right? It's starting to, you know, uh, heat up your skin, right? There's fear in you. And as well as all the other participants in the cinema. What are you going to do? Well, chances are 99.9% of you are going to rush for the exit to run out of the cinema. And this is what we mean by a, a hurt mentality. Everybody's going to behave in a very similar manner. And it's the same for financial markets. When there's a lot of fear and panic in the markets, what happens? Many traders, institutions, right, funds or whatsoever, they're going to sell off their risky assets because it's risky, right? There's a lot of fear. Sell away risky assets. Let's move into something that is safer. So you sell away your risky assets like equities or whatsoever. What's going to happen? When there's a massive sell-off, it creates a downtrend. Sounds familiar? And then when you take your money and put it into safe haven assets or currencies, what's going to happen to those assets? Well, those assets are going to start to trend, right? As more people put more, put more money in these safe, safe havens uh, assets or currencies. So this is where you get strong downtrends and strong uptrends during such a crisis period. And this is how a trend follower, as you know, they profit during a trend. Where, regardless of whether it's an uptrend or a downtrend. And that's the secret to why a trend follower do so well during such crisis period. Because this is where the herd starts to behave in a very similar manner and creates trends right across all these different markets. Now, at this point, right, you've understood right what is trend following and how it works. Now, you're probably wondering, so how can I be a trend follower, Rainer? All this sounds good, but you know what do I need to do to be a trend follower? That's a good question because there are four secrets you must follow. right? If you skip any of them, you will fail, right? So this is important, and let me explain to you what these four secrets are so you don't fail as a trend follower. Okay, secret number one is this. You want to trade many markets. Here's a simple analogy for you. So let me ask you, if you want to get your wife pregnant, maybe, you know, you're ready for parenthood, are you going to shoot once a month or 30, 40 times a month? Well, clearly you're going to say, Rain, I'm going for 50 times a month. Well, good on you, right? I, I, I can't do that, but you know, congratulations if you can. So as you can see, right, if you're going to get your wife pregnant, you're going to shoot as many times as possible to increase your odds of getting, getting her pregnant. And it's the same thing for trend following. If you want to write trends, if you want to capture trends, you're going to trade as many markets as possible to increase your odds of capturing a trend. So this is why as a trend follower, it is perfectly normal, right, to be trading, you know, anywhere from, you know, 40, 50, 60. I think some funds even trade more than 100 markets because this really increased their odds of capturing trends. And this is where, they, you know, they trade across things like indices, commodities, uh, metals, agriculture, etc. So the more markets that you're trading, the better chance that you will capture a trend. So don't make a, the mistake, right, that of what I see many trend followers do, they only trade three, four or five markets at, at most. And this is too little, right, to, to be a successful trend follower for the long run. Next, secret number two, follow the price. So what do I mean by this? So let me ask you, have you ever bought a stock, right, because the price is very low and it seems like it can't go any lower? So you buy the stock. Right, your top process is, man, Rainer, look at how cheap this stock is, Rainer. The price just can't go any lower, man. Buy. So you buy the stock. And the next thing you know, the price collapsed even lower. What's cheap just became cheaper. Does that sound familiar? Or how about this? The market is in an uptrend. And it broke out of the all-time highs. The chart is really bullish, right? Big green candles in a row. But at that point, right? It looks really expensive and you think to yourself, man, it's probably going to make a reversal, right? maybe even a pullback. Let me just wait a while. And by waiting a while, the market continued to rally another 100-200% within the next few months and you realise you're on the sidelines, not able to capture the piece of the move. Yeah? So the lesson here is this, right? is that what's high can go higher and likewise, what's low can go lower. As a trend follower, we don't predict how high or low the markets will go. We just simply trade what we see, not what we think. This means if the market is heading up higher, we look for buying opportunities. If the market is heading down lower, we look for selling opportunities, as simple as it is. And later on, I'll share with you a powerful trend following system that allows you to do just that so you know when exactly to enter and exit your trades. But for now, let's move on to secret number three. 
Boom, shakalaka. Boom, shakalaka. Boom, secret number three, cut your losses. So here's the thing, right? Just because you're trading in the direction of the trend doesn't mean that, you know, every trade will be a winner. No, far from it. In fact, as a trend follower, most trend followers, our winning rate is between 30% to maybe as high as 50% from, from what I see. So anyway, between 30 to 50%, right, is the winning rate of a trend follower. So this means that you will encounter many, many, many losses in a row. And the reason why you can survive in this business despite having many losses in a row is because you cut your losses. Because if you don't, then this is what's going to happen. So if you look at this, you can see over here, if you go into a drawdown, let's say a 10% drawdown, you need 11.11% to get back to break even. But if you don't cut your losses, you hold on to your losses, you get let it snowball to get bigger and bigger, and your account, let's say, goes down into a 50% drawdown, you need 100% to get back to break even. Okay, it's still doable, still possible to get back to break even after a 50% drawdown. But once your drawdown gets too deep, let's say an 80%, 90%, you need like what? 400% to get back to break even. And if you are a drawdown at 90%, you need a 900% return to get back to break even, which is, I would say, near impossible. So always manage your risk, cut your losses so you can live to fight another day. So now the next question is, this, like, how does a trend follower then, you know, make sure that their winners is larger than their losers? Here's how. Right? your winners. This is the secret, right, to making sure that your winners, your gains are larger than your losses. You must write your winners, okay? As you've seen earlier, you can have a 40% winning rate, but if the average gain is larger than your average loss, you will be profitable in the long run. So now the question is, how do you write your winners? Well, we're going to use a tool, a concept called a trailing stop loss, okay? Let me explain how this works. So let's say, for example, you go long on soybeans, right? Okay, so let's say you go long on soybeans and let's say you have a trailing stop loss of 30%. So let's say you, soybean has a breakout at 100 bucks, you buy $100. And what does a trailing stop loss mean? So a trailing stop loss has two functions. First function is to protect your capital if the market moves against you. Second function is to allow you to ride the move if the market moves in your favor. So let's say, right, you buy soybean at $100 and let's say you have a 30% trailing stop loss. Let's say from $100, it went back down to, let's say, $70. At this point, what's going to happen is that you will cut this trade. You'll exit this position for a loss because it has hit your 30% trailing stop loss. When the price drops 30% from the highs, from 100 down to 70, that's a $30 loss. So it hits your trailing stop loss. Now, on the other hand, what if the market moves in your favor? So let me give you another example. So let's say you buy soybean again. This time around, it breaks out. You buy and the price rides, the new trend unfolds itself. And you ride it, let's say, up to the price of $200 over here. So again, you bought at $100, but this time around, the market moves up to $200. At what price point do you exit? $200? No. As a trend follower, we never predict how high the market can go. So again, we adopt this 30% trailing stop loss for this example. So if the price drops 30% from the high, so 30% of $200 is $60. So $200, you minus $60, let's say it drops down to $140. This is where you would exit this trade, right? In this case, it won't be a loss. It'll be a profit because you buy at 100, you sell at 140, that's a gain of like 40%, a gain of $40 per contract, right? By trading this uh, soybean market. So this is what we mean We mean by a trailing stop loss. It protects your downside, but at the same time, it doesn't cap your upside. So this way, if the trend unfolds itself, you still have the ability to ride this trend up higher. And that's how you make sure that the size of your gains, the average size of your winners is larger then you're losers. So this is how you can actually pay for many, many frequent losses in a row and still be a profitable trader in the long run. Does that make sense? Subscribe to the channel if it does. Okay, now, at this point, right, you have learned, right, the secrets of trend following, how it works, why it works. So next, I'm going to share with you something important, right? A full, complete trend following trading system that works so you can profit in bull and bear markets and especially during crisis period. Let's go! Alrighty, now let me share with you the exact uh, trend following system, right? So this way you can go out there and uh, I suggest, you know, researching it first, validating it first before trading it on a live account. That's only responsible, right, to yourself, okay? So whether you make or lose money, right, again, I won't be held accountable. I'm just simply sharing with you what I believe works. I'm going to provide the data, the backtested results and much more, but it's up to you to, you know, take it, refine it and make it on your own. So the trend following system, right, for 
the rules right for long is this number one if the market closes right at the highest price over the last 200 days then you go long so this in essence right is just simply saying when the market closes at the highest price point over the last 200 days you buy you go long so let's say price goes up comes down goes up comes down goes up then let's say this is the highest over the last uh, 200 days okay this is the highest price point and let's say if for whatever reason today the price breaks out and close right at this high this closing price is the highest price point looking back over the last 200 days when this happens you go long so if you really think about this right this is just simply a breakout entry trigger and there's no secret sauce to it the secret sauce is actually the four secrets that i shared with you earlier if you apply with discipline in the long run that's how you become a successful trend follower not because it's a magical 200 uh, day breakout or whatsoever okay so the secret again is the four secrets which i shared with you earlier if you jump straight to this section of this video please look back earlier so you know what are the four secrets i've just shared so this is the entry rule for long market closes at the highest price point over the last 200 days then go long what about exit very simple if you are in a long position and the price drops 6 atr basically six times the average true range from the high then you exit the trade so earlier recall i shared with you what is a trailing stop loss market let's say it goes up in your favor at this highs okay let's say it drops that down lower right that is from this highs down to this point we can define it as 6 atr so basically ATR stands for average true range. It measures the historical volatility of that market. So once it exceeds six times the historical volatility of the market, we exit the trade. Okay, so don't worry. Later on, I'll share with you indicators to help you define uh, what is six ATR indicators to help you show you where is the 200 day uh, highest close on the chart and stuff like that. So your life will be much easier. But for now, just understand that this is the trading rules. We're looking to buy uh, the breakout, the highest price point over the last 200 days. And then we trail our stop loss, right? Using six ATR uh, from the highs okay so moving on right uh short position is just the inverse i'm not going to go through it because you you, you are not a uh, you are you are intelligent being right don't need me to explain okay uh next one markets trade what markets are we going to trade so as, as you've learned right as a trend follower we want to be trading many markets so i'm just going to you know list up all these markets that we will be trading right and is where we're going to run the, the back test on later on, on all these markets that's i listed down like 30 plus over here but that's not to say that you know you only can stop at 30 if you can go 40 50 60 i leave it to you usually that will yield you a more favorable uh a return right relative to risk but for now uh for this purpose of this video these are the 35 markets that i've listed down here and we will back test them later on and what about risk management very simple right you risk management again we want to make sure that when we encounter a loss which we definitely will it's only a fraction of our account one percent of our account so this means if we were to hit our 6 atr trailing stop loss right we should lose not more than one percent of our account now let me walk you through some trading examples so you can see how these uh, rules all right will look like on your chart so first thing first we need a few indicators to make our life easier so how do we define the uh, highest close over the last 200 days very simple go to indicators tab search for something called donchian right by right it's called donchian channel but since we are looking for the closing price you just search for donchian close and this particular indicator will pop up click on this now you might be thinking, what, Rainer, so much stuff on the chart. Don't worry, don't panic, don't freak out, okay? I'm going to help you adjust the settings so it looks a lot more cleaner. So when you see all this, remove all this checkbox until the last one, okay? So this last one, again, just remove this, remove this, remove this, show channel, change this to 200 since we are looking at the uh, uh, highest closing price over the last 200 days, and you click OK. Now, you didn't have a heart attack, did you? All right, much better? Yeah, good. So what you can see over here is very simple, right? What these lines, these blue lines represent on your chart, it's that it simply tells you this is the highest closing price over the last 200 days. And this tells you that this is the lowest closing price over the last 200 days, okay? So if you want to get an entry trigger where it has to be the highest close over the last 200 days, then very simple. What you're looking for is for a candle to close beyond this blue line. Simple as it is for a long trade. And if you're looking for a short trade, all you're looking for is for a candle to close below this blue line for a short trade. Simple? Yeah, so let me walk you through how it looks like. So in this case, boom, right over here, this candle. This is the highest close over the last 200 days. Right, you can see the price has touched this blue line, meaning it formed the highest close over the last 200 days. And if that's the case, we are looking to go long. Now the entry 
is settled. What about the exits? Remember, we are using it for 6 ATR trailing stop loss. So basically, we are using the volatility of the market to trail our stop loss, six times the average volatility of the market. Again, there are indicators to make your life easier. Look for this one called chandelier, okay? Uh, oops, wrong spelling. This guy, chandelier stop by Pip Charlie. Click on this, okay? Oh, okay, I have too many indicators on my chart. Don't worry, I'll just remove one temporarily. Okay, and I look back for the one by Pip Charlie once again. There we have it, chandelier stop by Pip Charlie. Okay, now how do we adjust these settings? Very simple, go here to settings. Uh, I usually look back, I put like 50 candles. ATR period, I use 20. The multiplier here is 6, so this means it's 6 ATR. Click OK. Okay, so now, life is super easy now. So you can see over here, this is your trailing stop loss this light blue line over here. So as you know, right, as the market moves in your favor, your trailing stop loss will naturally progressively move higher as well in your favor. So let me just walk you through this trade quickly. I'll just admit this is a winning trade, just a cherry pick chart to show you uh, how it all works. So let's move. Let's go. Right, so you can see over here, up, over here. Did we exit this trade when it touched this light blue line? No, because we are looking for a close, not a... Uh, the lowest price point. So we, are, we have to make sure that the price closes below this light blue line, only then our 6 ATR exit is met. So if it doesn't close below it, we continue holding that position. Okay, so let's go. So over here you can see, notice right how this light blue line progressively right, moves higher in your favor whenever the market break out to new highs. So that's kind of like the uh, feature of a trailing stop loss. As the market continues to move in your favor, the trailing stop loss will go up higher along with it sort of like protecting your open profits, right, as the market moves in your favor. So let's see. So I'm just going to run this through quickly because as I've said, it's a cherry pick chart. And you can see that you're riding this trend up higher, massive trend. And... Aha, uh -huh, over here. Finally, right, we have an exit over here on this candle, this red candle. Notice the price close. Let me just... Notice the price close below this light blue line, close below the 6 ATR, and this is where we will exit the trade. And in this case, it's a winning trade. Yeah. Now, let's have a look at one more example, shall we? So this is the chart of silver. And as you can see, right, this over here uh, demarcates the highest closing price over the last 200 days. This one here demarcate the lowest closing price over the last 200 days. So whichever direction the market breaks out, right, that would be an entry trigger to either go long or short. So in this case, boom, right, we have an entry trigger to go, to go long as we had the highest close over the last 200 days. Where is our trailing stop loss again? Uh, is on the chart over here, this light blue line is our trailing stop loss. So if let's say the market suddenly reverse, right, and hit our trailing stop loss, guess what? It's going to be a loser and we take the loss and move on. So let's find out what happens next. So in this case, you can see the market shortly afterwards went against us. Over here, it did not close below this uh, light blue line, so we are still in the trade. And then it, boom, over here, this is where we took the loss, right? Over here, where's the market uh, closes below this light blue line. This is where our trailing stop loss is hit. And we will exit this trade on this candle here. So I'm sharing with you both winners and losers because as a trend follower, really, right, you won't be experiencing winning trades after winning trades after winning trades. It's more like, you know, 40% uh, of the time you have winners, right? But the winners are usually pretty large in size and the losers, they are frequent, but they are usually relatively small compared to your winners. Okay, so... What you've just learned is a systematic trend following system. The rules, the exits, everything is objective, it's systematic. There's no room for discretion. And the beauty of this is that when you're trading with an objective set of rules, you can quickly do a backtest to find out how it has performed over time. So right now, I'm going to share with you the backtest results of this system that I've just shared with you. And I've backtested over the last 22 years, since 2000 to 2022. So actually 23 years, yeah? So this is the results of this uh, trading system. So the total return is 1,908% over the last 23 years. So to break it down, annual basis is about an average of about 13, close to 14% a year. And bear in mind, the S&P 500, if you buy and hold the S&P during this period, I think your average annual return is about maybe 8-9% a year. Yeah. Maximum drawdown is 17%. So what exactly is a maximum drawdown? So for those of you who, you know, investor, you buy and hold, let's say, you know, you buy and hold Apple stock at, you bought it at $100 and Apple stock drops back to $50. And then before it rally up, 
and breaks out of $100 to $200. So from $100, you hold all the way down to $50. That's a decline of 50%. So we call that a maximum drawdown of 50%. Okay, so for this particular system, the maximum drawdown is 17%. And by the way, the S&P 500, you buy and hold, your max drawdown, I would say, you know, depending how far back you look, right, be anywhere between 50 or 60%. So again, maximum drawdown, in this case, this particular system, right, it's less risky if you compare it in that manner. And your winning rate is about 45%. So as mentioned, right, trend followers, your winning rate is usually anywhere between 30 to 50%. In this case, it's about 45%. You actually lose, right, more than half the time. But the reason why you're still profitable in the long run is because of this, right, your payoff ratio. This, in other words, right, measures the average size of your winners to your losers. So the payoff ratio of 2.11 means that the average size of your winners is about 2.11 times, right, bigger than your loser. So that's why, in other words, right, your average size of your winners is bigger than your losers, right? Duh, okay? So, moving on, you can see this is the equity curve of this uh, system, right, since 2000, right? You can see that clearly it's been a long-term profitable trading system. Even till today, I, I don't have any reason to think, right, why it would break down suddenly just because I'm shooting this video. Very unlikely, right? Uh, this of the, is the results of this uh, trading system, right, on a month-on-month, year-on-year basis. So, again, similar features and characteristics during the dot-com bubble, the system up about close to 16%. The 2008 financial crisis, up about 59%. Uh, Russia-Ukraine war in 2022, up about close to 30%. Yeah, so you can see that. In the long run, you know, it's uh, profitable, right? And it allows you to profit in both bull and bear markets, especially, right, during a crisis or a recession period. As you can see, right, this particular trading system, right, is profitable in the long run. But still, it has a number of losing years in between. Like, for example, in 2009, down about 1.2%, here down 1.8%, here is down 0.1%, not like it's a lot, and here is down 0.3%. So a few losing years in between. So now, would it be great if you can reduce the number of losing years? If you want to learn more, then I'd like to invite you to my upcoming webinar called Stock Trading Secrets. I'll put the link somewhere below this video. You can sign up for it. It's free. And during this webinar, I'll share with you, firstly, how you can reduce right the number of losing years so you can make money almost every year from the markets number two i will share with you a proven stock trading system that has generated 3225 percent over the last 22 years plus i'll walk you through for people who have a small trading account maybe a few thousand dollars or so right how you can actually grow your account to six figures or seven figures and beyond even with a small starting capital so all this and more during my next upcoming live webinar if you're interested i'll put the link below this video you can sign up for it it's free and with that said i wish you good luck and good trading i will talk to you soon